I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay, I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine. I strive just to say I'm alright. And for the first time in a long time, I'm alright. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same. As they were a year ago But I'll be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago Okay, dreamers, so what I'm doing here is I'm building the countertop for that back corner there. And this time I decided to use the Craig uh, pocket hole tool and do pocket holes, holes to keep them from going all wonky on me when I glue it up. And I think what I'm going to do this time is glue up two of them, then glue up the other two, and then do the last one, you know, do them all together. Uh, Maybe I can keep them all together that way. Anyhow, we'll see how it goes. Oh, let me get at it. Good morning, dreamers. So it is a new day, and I am still working on this countertop for this back area. So I got these two glued up and um, pocket screwed together last night. I have one more board to add to it, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue up these two with the final board, put the screws in it, and hopefully uh, we'll let that dry up and then I'll start planing it down. Um, it did work out a whole lot better. This is actually the side that's gonna be showing and it did work out a whole lot better. There's just a slight ridge right here on that one and this one's pretty smooth there's not much difference between the two but I'll still need to plane it down some so um, I liked using the pocket screws uh, kind of help keep it together a whole lot easier so let me get this glued up
Hey there dreamers, Anne Marie here with Big Dreams Tiny Budget. Okay, so I don't know if this will be a video on its own or if this is going to be in with the other videos, footage that I have because I still got to go through and edit all that, but I'll show you what I got done. I've just been busy um, working on this kitchen for a while now. Okay, good. And um, I spared you all the details of sanding and even installing this countertop here because this was a pain in the pachuki. I had to pull both of these other cabinets out. There's a cabinet back underneath there. And I had to pull both of those out, put a two by four along the wall to help support that back corner. And then, you know, because I don't have a corner cabinet here, uh, I had to put another nail or thing there. And then I had to screw the, um, the countertop in from the top back here. So I got a couple screws in it holding it in place. So yeah, it was a huge, huge uh, <laughs> ordeal. And I was hot and I was sweaty and I was tired and I was frustrated because it wasn't doing what I thought it should do so and then I sanded for days this um, countertop here where it met up here with there was like a quarter inch gap and I didn't want to plane it down more because it would gouge this one and I already had them both installed so I just sanded the heck out of it and put a wood filler in between where the crack is and you know what this is just gonna have to do it's just my house it doesn't have to be perfect and uh it just has to be functional and you know kind of sort of nice looking so these are this is going to be functional and it's going to work so where i'm at now i mean i was able to fill in where i hit it with the blade so i filled that in with um wood putty actually it was glue and the sawdust so I filled that in, I filled in some of the cracks, and now I'm gonna go and start staining it. And it's not perfectly flat. It's like got little tiny humps in it. Like there's a little hump right here. But you know what, I don't care. It's a flat surface for me to prepare food on and it was cheap compared to Butcher Block. And uh, it'll work until I can afford butcher blocks someday in the future and if not it'll still work this countertop will probably outlive me all right I'm going to get all my stuff together and start staining it and you will see it transform so hang on okay you guys so first thing I'm gonna do is put this pre-stained stuff on there they say it's best to use this if you're um, working with pine so I'm supposed to put it on and then wait 15 minutes and then I'm supposed to stain it within a few hours I think it said. really changed the color of this. 
Not the color I'm going for though, so you have to stay tuned. Anyhow, I'm hoping that these glue spots that are really showing up now where they're like almost neon yellow, I'm hoping that those um, go away when I stain it the dark color. And if they don't, oh well. Like I said, it's just countertop. It's just got to be a flat surface for me to prepare food on, right? <laughs> showed up to help me get the tires off of my wrecked vehicle but so I need to go out there and help him I'm liking how this side turned out except for I look at where the glue is that looks horrendous and this is supposed to be stainable tight bond and that is not stainable so I mean some of it stained up but some of it is just horrendous so I'm gonna do a second coat and uh, and then there's some spots where it looks like I didn't take it off. But I'm liking the color, but on this side it's too light. So this side is definitely going to need another coat. I think I just um, wiped it off too soon. But I'm going to go help him get the tires off of my car. Uh, since the insurance wasn't going to give me any money for him. 300 miles on a set of tires 
and they were going to give me $56 for both of them. That's not working. Anyhow, so uh, I will come back and put another coat on in a bit. It's September 7th, almost a month since I started this countertop project. <laughs> uh, but life gets in the way. So I am now going to put a coat of polyurethane, the first coat of polyurethane on the stained countertops. Let me show you how those turned out. There's a couple spots in here where it wouldn't let me stain over the glue spot. So there's a pretty thick layer of stain on it. And I don't know if this is gonna work, but we'll go ahead and give it a try. In case you're wondering, I'm wiping it down with a piece of tack cloth just to get all the dust and stuff off. Okay, that's one coat of the polyurethane on it. And that extra layer of dark that I put on here, <laughs> it just brushed it right back off when I, um, like there's a couple spots here that it's like bright orange from the glue. Here's another one, that's the worst. So I don't know how I'm gonna get that darker. I'll just keep playing with it. Maybe use a, a black marking pen or something to color it. But I'll let this dry for a couple hours, come through and do a light sanding, and then hopefully get one more coat on it today. Uh, I'm hopefully going to the meetup tomorrow, so don't think I'll get much more done on it this weekend. But uh, I'll come back and show you what it looks like when I'm finally done tinkering with it okay dreamer so I got one coat on it's dry I did a light sanding on it and then I went back with my trusty sharpie <laughs> and I kind of I guess if you look really close you could see where I colored it in here but if you're coming over to my house and looking that close at my cabinets you're gonna find all kinds of stuff wrong. Yeah, I colored in this section here. And then there was a big section up there that uh, where the glue was showing. So now I'm gonna put on a second coat and sand that down. Or I'm gonna put on a second coat, wait for it to dry, then sand that down. Then I can let my cats back in the house. And if I get to go to the meetup, <laughs> Then uh, when I get home, I'll do another coat. But I think I can only get one more coat on tonight unless I stay up way past my bedtime. So uh, I'm gonna uh, keep busy painting.